My mom had breast cancer. She was diagnosed when I was 12, and she passed away two years later. What I was expecting was when I hit 40, I'd be very vigilant. But breast cancer beat me by eight years. I was diagnosed at the age of 32. I was going to attack this full on, just fight it with everything possible that was out there. I imagined when I was diagnosed that there would be sort of an integrative system already set in place to help me get the best care. But instead, there was no one there to coordinate my care. I had to do it myself. I was my own caseworker. A typical person with cancer is being seen by many different physicians and specialists, most who are not communicating with each other. And so the patient, who is physically and emotionally exhausted, is left as the person who is trying to make this coordination happen. So the breast cancer had spread to my spine and fractured my spine to the point where uh, the spine had collapsed and was threatening my spinal cord. And the only way to correct this was through a spine fusion surgery, this huge surgery that carried a lot of risk. And I wanted the surgeon to speak with my oncologist to kind of know what cancer drugs I was on and how would that react with maybe going into surgery. And what happened is they played eternal phone tag and they never spoke. So it, it added even more anxiety to uh, the situation I was in going into surgery. Having cancer over the age of 60 is a lot different than having cancer in your 20s or 30s or even 40s. It's just more complicated. I'm dealing with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, a history of family heart disease, a hiatal hernia, arthritis. There are drugs that are prescribed for all of those. It's especially a challenge with older patients to coordinate care. They often will have four or five different specialists who are caring for different organ functions. And the key here really is to make sure that everyone's on the same page. And that coordination of care is something that's so critical, but it takes time. And it really needs to be built into the healthcare system. My doctors didn't talk to each other uh, about this additional medication that I was receiving. And as a consequence, I was overdosed with a blood pressure medication that made me stagger the next morning. If one has a unified medical record, one is able to know precisely what is happening with a patient and what has happened over time. However, most cancer patients are treated in systems that don't have such shared medical records. We need shared medical records across all systems where patients are receiving cancer care. So I'm going to examine you and then we'll have a chance to most of the agents used in cancer care have never been tested in older people, and yet it's older people who will receive them. They don't know how to treat us. They don't know how to give us chemo. They don't know how much we can take. They don't know the type we can take. They don't know what our side effects are gonna be. They don't know if they're gonna kill us by giving it to us because they can only treat us according to the statistics and the clinical reports and the information they have at hand. That is scary. That is really scary.